Hi, it's me again with CorelDRAW Tips and Tricks. This video will not be too much about CorelDRAW. As for another program that's removing background than anybody in CorelDRAW is www.remove.bg. And I, I've done an exact young uh, child's face and remove the background through Corel, which is pretty easy. But if you'll go to their website and you can download this picture, and he says it is, it's free, and I guess if you do this version, which is a regular version, and then you can just click and see how it's removed the background and then copy the photo, bring back into Corel. And normally when you in or paste it, it's going to put it right in the center of the page. Now, the only thing I can kind of see, it does not have any background. It is a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit bigger bounding box than it might should but maybe that was just the entire photo. So with the photo selected, you can go to your crop tool. I don't really think it'll make any difference. And you could crop out and make the photo a little bit smaller and then say crop. And you can see it, it has no background. The um, trace is really good. He's got a little bit of fuzz on his head. And I actually can do this inside of Corel. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you in case you missed that video there. I'm going to, this picture is three and a half. I want to make my dunge factor four. I'm going to take this uh, photo and I'm going to hit P or uh, control G or the plus key on the keyboard. Then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to go to uh, bitmap, outline, trace, clip art. And it's going to make it look terrible uh, when you do that. But we don't care. Because now I'm going to move this over. You can see it's removed the background. It doesn't matter that the kid's face looks uh, like that because then we're going to take the rectangle tool and we're going to take the smart fill tool and fill that spot in and then I'm going to move it over and there's the child I'm going to I'm going to change color just so you can see the difference in the colors and then go to the reg the normal photo and select them let's do the one with the well let's just do this one we can move it then let's zoom in here, select both photos, go up to intersect, and watch this. That kid's photo is completely uh, outline free. Now, the, the thing I do like better about the Corel way is that you can smooth this out really pretty easily. You don't have to go to another website, get your spotter about that big, click on your item, and then just go along the top of the head slightly. And if there's too much gray, you can remove it with nodes with your shape tool and then go back. So we could probably remove that node and you know bring this in a little bit if we wanted to because the photo is still there. And then go back to your smoothing tool. You've got to click on your item so you get your node and then just kind of smooth over that and then just look around the whole picture. I think there's something right above his ear that's a little funky. So if you'll zoom in, get your smoothing tool back. It's, I'm a little bit big, I could make it smaller. The, let, me, let me actually make it smaller. Let's make it 0.1, because the smaller your nib size, the less it's gonna do it. And it does a remarkable job. So side by side, here's the one that they did versus mine inside of Corel Draw. And the picture is a little bit fuzzy on top. Mine, because I can kind of, and it would be fuzzy if I couldn't do that. So I actually kind of think the Corel one might be a little bit better, but that's personal opinion and, and takes a little bit less time. And on something like that, you can, you know, make your nib size bigger, you know, bump it up to 25 or whatever, make sure you click on your photo because if you don't click on your photo, nothing will happen. But either way, both of them will work and that's pretty close. One's a little bit bigger, but uh, this is gonna, you know, it's all depending on what you're doing with it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.